Today, we're gonna go into items, supporters, and stadiums, and the rules around it, and what you can and cannot do with items, supporters, or stadiums. So first off, let's start off with supporters. Supporter cards will have the blue up here in the corner. I'm sorry, not supporters, items. Item cards will have the blue up in the corner here that says item. Now, item cards, you can play absolutely as many as those as you want per turn. So let's say I want to play a uh, reset stamp, that's fine. Let's say I want to play a Pokemon Communication, that's fine, I can play that. I can play two Pokemon Communications, I can play a quick ball, I can play another fiery flint, I can play as many item cards as I want to. I can play a switch, play just as many item cards as I want to. There is no downside whatsoever to playing item cards. Now, the problem with item cards is they're not always super powerful. Some of them are really good, like Fiery Flint and some, Quick Ball, but they're not always super powerful. Next up, we have Supporter Cards. Now, Supporter Cards, the rule with it, it will have the red up here in the corner saying that it is a supporter. It'll say supporter right there. The problem with the deal with Supporter Cards is they are really good cards, but you can only play one per turn unless you have a Pokemon or another supporter or something that says you can play differently but general rule is you can only play one per turn this one allows me to attach two energy cards from my hand fire energy and draw three cards it's really broken that's really good most supporter cards are very good cards to play in your deck also the turn with supporter cards is you if you go first say you flip the coin and you get heads and you say I want to go first on your first turn going first you cannot play a supporter card if you had gone second then you could play a supporter card this is a new rule that just came into effect here recently so if you don't remember it that is why um, supporter cards you cannot play them on your first turn and you can only play once per turn once you uh, get past that first turn and start playing next up we have stadium cards so stadium cards are field cards if that makes any sense so stadium cards uh, just thinking of it as in the anime where you have the Pokemon are fighting in a battlefield usually in a gym this can be used by both players once you play this down both players can use this effect by discarding the card and then searching your deck for two fire energies both cards up here it says stadium in green and uh, both players can use this you can only play one per turn and you cannot play two of the same two of the same stadium so let's say giant hearth is in play and I have in my hand as soon as I can find it here I have in my hand another giant hearth because giant hearth is already in play I cannot play another giant hearth when you do play a stadium card I should have another one in here somewhere. When you do play another stadium card, like this Heat Factory right here, this stadium card that was in play goes to the discard pile. You can, if you cannot play two stadium cards on the same turn, you can only play one per turn, but if a stadium card with the same name is already in play, whether that's yours or your opponent's, say this is not actually mine, this is our opponent's, you cannot play a Giant Hearth to get rid of his Giant Hearth. You cannot change stadiums into the same stadium. You would have to play the Heat Factory to bump the Giant Hearth or another stadium like that. But yeah, that's pretty much it for item stadiums. Remember those rules and you'll do great when you go to your own Pokemon tournament. And um, hit me up in the comments. Let me know what you think and we'll see you next time.